Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Mom Plans. I have another planner video for you today, and this is going to be my mid-year planner stack. This has not changed a ton from my last, but I thought it would still be fun to check in and kind of show you everything that I use. All but this planner, I check into all of these every single day. So, um, I'm going to go smallest to largest and tell you how I use them, what I use them for, and just show you an example of their uses. So, let's get all of this out of the way. Alright, this first planner is my technically on-the-go planner. I don't actually take this anywhere with me anymore, um, but that's why I like this little Fobonichi size because it was really easy to take with me. I don't really go grocery shopping anymore. I do Instacart, so I don't have to take this anywhere, but I still refer to it as my on-the-go planner. So this is a Fobonichi TN um, cover from Print Pression, and I've got two inserts in here. Um, both of these are from Lights Planner Action. The first is the meal planning insert. I use this every single Sunday, meal plan all of our meals and our grocery list. Then I put all of this into my Instacart app and do a pickup. So I used to bring this into the store with me. I don't do that anymore, but I still love this for planning out our meals. The second insert is the finance insert um, from Lights Planner Action, like I said. Let me get to a blank page here. So this is a monthly budget. Um, you can do income, fixed expenses, and other expenses. I check into this once or twice a week just to check in on my budget and my bills, but I do fill this out every single month. And in the back you have a um, debt tracker, a savings tracker, and a no spin tracker. So there's a lot that you can use these inserts for and she does have both of these inserts in a wide variety of sizes and um, I, I love them. They're super functional but this is the one that I don't check into every day. Um, my meal plan I do on Sundays and then my budget I check into a few times a week. But I do love this little planner and the size. So let's move on to my second. This little coiled planner is also from Lights Planner Action and it is my five year um, memory journal. I absolutely love the idea of this and um, after five years looking back at everything in here I think is going to be so nice. So um, this is like an odd size. She did it so that she could utilize a full piece of paper and get four um, cuts out of it. So it's not like a standard size but it's a perfect little uh, planner. It's dated for the full year and you have prompts um, just with empty dates so that you can fill in. So I started this like mid-year 2021 so now I'm going through and doing 2022 and I think it's just going to be so fun to look back on and I love just checking in with it every morning and doing the little writing prompt. Some of them are just like what's your favorite food, that kind of thing, and then some of them are something you're grateful for, a goal you have. So it kind of makes you think about stuff and it's just a fun little journaling exercise. So I check in with this every morning um, while I prep for my day. All right, this next planner is another quilt planner from Lights Planner Action. You will see a theme here. I'm a big fan. This is my son's memory keeping planner. So this is the um, CJ layout, which I really enjoy this layout. Um, I had when I chose this layout, I had every intention of putting pictures in here. Um, so I date this and do journal about the memories every day, and then I was going to put pictures over here. Um, I have been in this planner for over a year now. I have not printed out one picture. Um, I'd like to think that I'm going to go back and do that, but I think that's highly doubtful. Um, so what I do is I pick washi that kind of coordinates with the season or something going on. I In the notes section here, I put um, just like an overview of something that happened that week. And then if anything big or exciting happened, I also put it over um, here in the side. So it's just, it's really fun. I love filling it out. Again, I come in here every day and fill out um, what I did with my son or something he experienced um, that day. And I am nearing the end of this planner, actually. Yeah, I'm nearing the end of it. I just have a few more weeks, but it has a ton of notes pages at the back. So I am going to 
actually draw in the same template on these notes pages and use up every single page in here um, before I purchase another one. But I have really loved doing this for the last year and I definitely plan on purchasing another just to keep his memories. All right, this next planner is another quad planner from Lights Winter Action. This is my everyday functional work planner. This one is going to be changing in a few months. Um, December 1st, I will be um, out of this planner. I have loved it. I really like the layout. I love the size, but I was just ready for something different and I really just wanted to use this up. Um, but I use this, uh, let's go to a blank page. Here you go. Um, I use this this week section for my my son's schedule. Um, habits here, Monday through Friday are all my work to do's, house to do's, any big events happening, and then um, weekend plans. I use this much more like decorative because there's not as many to do's for the weekend. And this is labeled next week, but I actually use this section for my cleaning, um, my YouTube slash Instagram to do's, and then a little journaling section. I really love that this has the weekly overview at the beginning. I fill this in every week um, with all of my work to do's and then also I plan out all of my um, Instagram posts here or any videos I have going up. So I've really loved using this layout, but I am excited for the planner I'm moving into next. Um, it's nothing against this planner, I'm just really excited for a new one. So. Um, We'll be finishing this up next few months and I have loved it. So moving on to the next. This is my B6 Rings planer. I've been in this planer I think for three years, maybe more, um, and I just mix up the inserts that's in it, which is what I love about a ring planner. So currently, um, this is another cover from Print Pression. Currently I have my um, Lights Planner Action um, monthly task list. Uh, insert in this one I keep my habits that I track every single day I keep my monthly schedule and birthdays in here love this insert again I check into this every day this next section I have labeled as family and it's just kind of a memory keeper I was keeping up with my son's first words um, just some journaling and then when I do potty training with him, I'm gonna take notes in here. Um, so this section probably won't stay too much longer, but it has been fun to have in here. And then I have a shopping section. This is a shopping log from Lights Planner Action. I just keep track of all of my planner purchases. Then I have a cleaning section. This is a insert from Creatively Planned. Check into this every day for all of my like household cleaning to-dos love that and then I have been reading a ton more so this section is uh, lists and I keep track of my to be read and I've got a little key here for colors I color in all of these little boxes once I've read a book keep track of if it's a series if I've purchased it the year that I read it and I add to this honestly almost every day for books I want to read and I have been um, finishing a lot more recently, which has been really fun. So I love this. This is another insert from Light Splinter Action. It's just her Polaroid inserts. So that is my B6 Rings planner. Um, it's just kind of like my home functional planner. Um, just very simple layout, a few inserts, and I love checking into it every morning. And moving on to my last planner. All right, this last planner is definitely the most fun, pretty planner. This is my memory planner. This is the Sadie Stickers dated um, 7x9 planner. And I use this for all of my memory sticker spreads. So um, here at the front, these boxes, I keep up with all of the kits that I use every week. And then I just do full on monthly and weekly memory spreads and I love them they are so fun I use up my stash they're so I just flip through here just to look back and I am currently about a month behind on my spreads but gonna catch up we had vacation and my son's birthday so I just got a little behind but I love doing these honestly um, I don't write in this every day but I look at it every day because it's so pretty um, and on nights that my husband works I'll put my airpods in and listen to an audiobook or watch YouTube and do a memory spread 
it's fun and it's like my creative outlet I loved this Mother's Day spread so I am halfway through June and that's where I've just got bases after that um, laying me on the bases is one of my favorite things to do every week so I'm never behind on laying down the bases it's just actually filling them in that I'm behind on but I keep all of my weekly notes on a little notepad from Planting Roses. So I have all of my notes to finish these spreads. Just have to go through and do them. And I just love this little planner. It's, well, this is a big planner. You can see halfway through the year how much thicker this half is with stickers than the back half. But I really love this planner. Um, I will be using this one through the end of 2022. And then I have a different planner for 2023 for my memory planner. I've already purchased it. Um, so towards the end of the year, I'm gonna have to try really hard not to get tempted on another memory planner because I already have one. So next year, my planner stack, or really December, my planner stack will be different. I will do a 2023 planner stack to show y'all what's changing and the new planners that I will be using. But this is a large stack just looking at it but i love all of these i love checking into them every day and it's a mix of functional memory keeping um decorative it's just really fun and it, these are things that bring me joy um so it might look a little overwhelming but i just really like it so i will have every single planner insert and cover linked below um, or have all the shops linked and then if i have any coupon codes i'll have them below i don't think i have coupon codes for any of these but the coupon codes i have for stickers i'll have linked below and if you are not already, um, please go follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Mom Plans. I do post pictures of the majority of these planners. Some of them not so much. The ones that are just more um, like writing, I don't really post those very much. But the stickers and functional ones, I do post pictures over there. So if you're not already, go follow me there. And if you are not already uh, subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, I do try and post videos every single week for you. You will get a few from me at least every month, all with planner related content, planning, stickers, and obviously a ton of planners. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know how many planners you use. This is six. I'd love to hear if anyone has more. If you only have one, if you don't have any, I'd love to hear how many planners you have. Um, definitely put that down in the comments. I really appreciate you watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!